The big top has been raised in Seoul, meaning the circus is in town. But this is not your ordinary circus performance. Our Im Yun Hee joins us this afternoon with the show Cavalia. That's right. Good afternoon. Good so, afternoon, Yun Hee. I don't think circus is quite the right word to describe this particular performance. Now, Cavalia has finally sat down in Seoul, and it's a unique performance that involves the equestrian acrobatics as well as multimedia. And so, the the brains behind this, Norman Latourelle, he's actually also behind the very famous. Cirque du Soleil, but Cavalia is different in that it really highlights this beautiful relationship between man and horse. Now I took a look at behind the scenes of this special show. Take a look. The strong, muscular body of the horse has stood next to man throughout time, its beauty appreciated around the world. There's always been a unique relationship between man and horse, and now a new kind of show takes it to a new level. Cavalia has traveled the world. Celebrating both man and horse, the show featuring breathtaking acrobatics with performers who seem to defy gravity. The cast of Cavalia is made up of members from around the world, each contributing their unique talents and passions. From the ground to the air, these performers make the task look easy. But don't be fooled; these are some of the best in the field, each with years of experience under their belts. And of course, the entire show is weaved together by the stars of the show. All 50 beautiful horses, who like the cast, also come from places around the world. Of course, we have our 50 beautiful, magnificent stars as you see us here behind us. They are the priority here at Cavalia. They're outside right now, enjoying the fresh air. They go outside every day. We also have a massage therapist on site. They're fed six times a day. We have over 20 people full time watching after the care of our four-legged stars. And each horse is truly given the five-star treatment. The massage therapist goes through each horse, making sure they're physically relaxed and ready for the show. And of course, after a hard day's work, a daily rinse down is needed. But when you think of a horse, you can't forget its trademark tail and mane. And here, the salon treatment goes from head to hoof. As you can see, Renato has a lot of hair. It's absolutely everywhere. So we like to keep it contained and keep it clean, and we do this by braiding the hair. Now, an interesting fact about horses is they do not have any feeling in their manes or tails. So when we pull in our hair, we can feel it. You can pull his hair, and you cannot feel it. However, when it comes to showtime, of course, everyone's got to let loose a little, and the natural beauty of the horse is ready for the spotlight. We like to show the horses in their their most beautiful and most natural state, and so long manes and tails, just like they'd be in the wild, is the way we like to see it. Sometimes called an equestrian ballet, Cavalia takes a unique approach to performance, and that's what's carried it and the hundreds of people behind the show across continents and seas, so everyone can get a chance to step into the mesmerizing and magical world of Cavalia. So the horses are receiving top-notch oh, services no. there. And where are these horses? Horses are coming from exactly? So these horses are from all over the world. Some are from France, Spain, um, Canada. They're really from all over the world. Uh, but these horses, you can see, they're much more trained than your average horse. And so they said when they choose a horse, it really depends on its uh, its relationship, its ability to adjust to the stage, to mm -hmm. the lights, to special effects, and its ability to uh, work with horses and the trainer. So the chemistry is a big factor when choosing the horse. So they actually say they do uh, recruit a lot of horses and are unable to perform the horses because the chemistry doesn't match up in the end. Uh, but you saw in the report the Renato, Renato. He's one of the. He's actually the Comtois horse, and a Comtois horse is really rare. It's, he's actually one of only 600 left in the world, wow. and so it's a beautiful spectacle. Spectacle of all different horses, and you could really see the differences in breeds when you go to the show. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a good chance to take a look at Comtois. Right, course, exactly. Although I have no idea what that means right now, <laughs> but um, let's move on to why, as to why they are mixing acrobatics with equestrian. Right, so that was really interesting. I was talking to the choreographer, and he's been there since the beginning um, of the show. And he said, when bringing in these dancers, they're actually from Guinea. You saw in the report. He said they add a sense of texture to the whole performance, and it kind of brings the whole performance to the earth. And so they want this natural. You heard earlier, she mm. said that she wants a natural beauty uh, to show from the horses as well as from the entire performances. And so then they do choose the performances. They mix this acrobatics with the horses to create this beautiful natural spectacle. Mm -hmm. um, but it was very rhythmic and. 
you know, these, these people who are part of the performance, they've actually been training in schools at a very young age, and so they're the best of the best, you know, professionals, an absolute spectacle to see. Mm. I know on a personal level, you were very excited to cover this story, I and was. I, I can he see that you were very passionate about this was report. very impressed. All right, thank you very much, Uni, for today's story. It's always a pleasure.